All right, boys, welcome back. So right now, we're going to go through how to find every secret chest in Black Claw Mobile. That's going to give you upwards to, I think, 800 plus actual gems from my memory of doing it on uh, KR a few weeks ago. But also right now, we have gotten a new code that you can get. Not a gem code, so it's not too crazy, but it's stamina, which is arguably much more important. So, of course, to get it, make sure you get your AID. Go towards the microphone, where you can do it in-game as well. And then, of course, scroll down towards coupons. Put in the ID, of course, and I think the code is BCMX tap tap, which is the actual other app store, I think. So you get like a little free uh, little promotion there, and I think that should work. There you go, it did work. And if we go towards the actual mailbox right now, you can see we've got an, an extra 100 stamp, oh, 77 stamina, never mind. It's a little thing, but you might as well claim it anyway. Okay, so if we go towards World 1, we can go towards actually Hanj Village. And if you go towards Hanj Village, you can see there's gonna be one hidden one in the church. Basically, all the point of interest on the map where you can actually go around to explore typically does have some actual secret chests. So if we just run in here, we go towards the village, we're gonna get 100 actual free gems and i believe these might actually update with each world so each chapter we're gonna get some uh these actual ones here the barrels the ones that aren't actually chests aren't gonna give much really i mean one 100 i mean you will get some actual reputation points so you can try and get through your actual reputation faster but yeah these old treasures are the ones that are gonna give the 100 gems all right, so we visit here. I believe we're going to get even more as well. I think this might be the most you can find some, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they kind of tease one of the tutorial, which you can easily miss as well. If you don't know about this, you're probably not going to pick it up. But uh, it's, uh, I think, right behind... Is it Julius? Is that the place where the carriage is supposed to be, I think? Over here next to the old lady. Uh, I think that is where um, you can find another one as well. Like, literally right down this corridor. I believe there is one tutorial where you actually can uh, go down here. I think it's like a mission where you have to speak to this person. So they're kind of like teasing a little bit. But yeah, you can go down here and get that at your chest. Once again, once again, another 100. And now, of course, running far right, we're going to find another chest hidden in the corner. Down in the same exact spot. Uh, do we get a little piece out of this one? I don't know. Yeah, just 100 gems here, so... Running back now, we have to turn right. Since I said this is the biggest one here, you're going to get another chest down in this corner. Once well, again, more crates when you walk past them. I'm just kidding. You might as well break them eventually because they don't respawn, I don't think. And as we run down, we can see one to our left right here. And that will give us another actual Aster piece as well. All right, so now going over to World 2. You're going to find quite a few here from memory. We're going to go towards the dungeon entry. Now, bear in mind, if you play for a mode, you may have picked some up here as well. And you can kind of see it on the right already. It's over there. You can break these boxes on the way. So you might as well take it anyway just to get the more repetition points. What is this one going to give? It's going to give uh, 1k gold. Yeah, boys. Insane. I see it over here next to the shop. Out in the open. We're going to get another 100 plus one the actual uh, puzzle pieces. Once again, I assume most people probably picked this one up. But still, worth mentioning. Another one right in this corner here. I believe it's also going to give 100 gems. If I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure it is all the church trash. Yeah, it is. So we're going to get another puzzle piece as well. Get close to finishing that piece. And I believe that is actually it for this one. Going into World 3 now. We're going to get even more as well. Going towards the actual Clover Kingdom. And this one's very massive, but you can see one straight away here. And uh, I know some people are going to miss this one because there's kind of one far hidden left corner, which you can definitely miss here. Get close towards finishing the actual puzzle. We love to see it. But yeah, you want to run all the way down. The, the weird thing in this game mode, you can't actually turn your camera around. So uh, you can't really see behind or to your left if you're going backwards or not. So you want to run all the way into this corner here. And if you run towards the camera, you can go into towards almost like a secret entrance here. There is a chest right there or crate which you can break. But if you run further down again, you can see right in this corner, you have a little secret one here, which I know people are going to miss here. And then boom, 100 plus another puzzle piece as well. I almost completed it as well. Nice. Once again, there are more places to visit, but you're not going to be able to find anything. Like, you can visit the Black Balls here, which is just going to give you a bunch of crates, not actual chests, unfortunately. Not that I know of. Yeah, so you can't go, like, explore down there, for example. It's literally uh, just these little chests here. Uh, moving on to World 1 in Neen Village, we can go towards, obviously, the chest straight in your face down here. Right in our face right here, we're going to get another 100 gems. And uh, yeah, looking through Neen Village here, I don't believe there's anything else. It's just that little one here. You can go exploring around left and right, which has some open areas. But unfortunately, they're not going to give you any crystals, just some free gold. And if I'm not mistaken for Chapter 5, there's nowhere to explore. Maybe if you do go towards the Underground Temple, uh, maybe you can explore there. So I'm not actually too sure I haven't gone that far yet. But uh, yeah, that is basically a quick way, I think, to get 900 to like 1k gems for free. So boys, hopefully this video did help out. And once again, now you know that this is a feature. When it does come towards other chapters in the future, definitely go exploring and 
and try and find those secret chests because they are going to give you 100 tree gems. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can probably see my gem count from the start of the video. We did manage to get 900 plus. So for the sake of the video, we're going to say 1k because if you put 900, it's going to be a bit a bit uh, awkward. So uh, yeah, uh, boys, thank you for watching this video. And uh, yeah. <laughs>